Okay, I actually didn't think that would be working like that. <laughs> it's pretty cool-ish. Um, it's basically the LED strip light. Hey everyone, Sean here. And today in this video, I wanted to sit down and talk about the live action One Piece, uh, specifically a sort of theory I have as to why this is, has happened in the first place. You know, you know, well, how how could a how could something like One Piece get a live action of all things? You know, something so cartoony in comparison to the other popular stuff. Why this one, right? I think a lot, right off the bat, I'm gonna say the lowdown of it is that Oda seized more of the benefits than anything else really i don't think he's really worried about whether this um product is going to fail or succeed i think this is going to succeed either way in drawing more people in because uh, it's going to get people talking right any publicity is good publicity whether it's good or bad i think there, you know there is definitely is a saying to that and there is a point in cases of this happening you know, it, uh, it just brings attention to the audience and it definitely is something that could help him out more than anything as a whole overall. I think just ha the idea of, you know, bringing this at, just as a promotional means of um, getting more eyes on One Piece, I think will definitely succeed in that area for sure. You know, and I do have say things to say about the the purpose of this Netflix series in the first, uh, uh, later on in the video, but um, but I just wanted to get that point across right off the bat. And you know, let me know if you agree or disagree with that in the comment section below. But I think also what, uh, the caveat sort of that comes with that is that I don't think he really is worried about the product of itself. I think he's definitely like focusing on whether this uh, brings attention to. Uh, the uh, to new audiences or not, really, you know, he's really not like putting his resources other than some of his time into um, this live action series. He's not really directing it. He's not. Uh, well, I mean, I guess he's a producer, but um, he's more of like just someone sitting in the back, kind of just like doing his own thing. But then when someone you know gets his attention, like hey. Uh, is this um, actor good for this character? Do you, you know? Would are you? Uh, would you approve of this picking or whatever or casting? And he has his final saying in that. So, the the act actors that you see in the casting definitely has had to do with Oda. You know, him being the final call of those castings. Same with the the final sort of status of the product. Um, I think overall, he's. You know, pleased with it. The whole purpose of this Netflix series, um, it's just to just bring more attention to One Piece than it already has. Especially with, um, you know, what has happened with like you know, uh, the cyberpunk anime. What did that did for uh, twenty seventy seven? Edge Runners like re pretty much revived um, cyberpunk twenty seventy seven after what happened to that game, right? vastly whole like uh strongly disappointing while there are some core things to take away from that are good there was a massive disappointment to a lot of people like myself but with um edge runners it definitely brought more like a different uh perspective not n just things to appreciate about and it, it definitely brought back players so things like that is something i think Oda is hoping for is to just have new interests, right? Uh, maybe bring back people, maybe in the way, but I think it's more of just drawing in more people. I think that's the main purpose in his eyes of what the uh, live action is going to do. Like I said, any publicity is good publicity. Uh, so even with bad reviews, it's going to bring attention, att attention to One Piece, whether it's the anime or the manga. So hope uh in theory they could either read it or they could watch it even if it has a thousand episodes at least um it, it's a way to draw them in and i think that's always been the idea with these live action animes from the get-go anyway it's just it's just mark it's just a fancy marketing marketing material you know 
and it, and if it does somehow blow up to be a continuous thing great i mean maybe i'll i'll um stay along with the ride but if it doesn't then it's kind of like spilled milk you know i'm, I'm not gonna really cry over it it's just like well that happened now we can just move on to sort of thing I've always kind of loathed the idea of live-action anime for the most part. I mean, there's something special about animation, which is why I cherish it um, a lot more than a lot of other things in entertainment media. But, you know, it is what it is. It's here, and I, th you know, from what I see, it's definitely not as bad as I, I expected, although my expectations were very low, and I did come from watching Cowboy Bebop, so there is that too. So... It, there is uh, a good amount of respect for it, uh, from what I can see though, with the sets being built by hand and the characterization they kept overall. It's it's just One Piece. It just feels like it just feels like a, a live action One Piece. You know, it's not like this like this thing that changed for the sake of pandering or a political message type of thing. Uh, at least with this eight episodes anyway, but maybe it'll change into something later on. We'll, we'll have to wait and see, but we have to remember that Oda San watches these things, and he has the he has a saying in them. So we'll see how how that pans out. But anyways, I think the main point of mine is a uh, has been said, which is that I I think another way to look at it too is just yeah, it's just the marketing material. It's just a essentially a giant commercial to help bring more uh, attention to different parts of the audiences including of course the Netflix audiences so again that's what I think I think that's what Otosan is sort of like hoping to see out of this whole thing so um, I think that's that's just my theory anyway if anyone wants to again agree or disagree with that let me know in the comment section below and I'm all for a, uh, a friendly discussion about it but yeah I think that's essentially uh, that I mean why is this question a thing in the first place. I mean, well, I mean, the, the live-action anime has always been cursed. It's always been sort of loathed upon by the majority of its audiences, right? The hardcore audiences especially. The idea of these, like, cartoony concepts being brought to real life, it's something that won't translate well, and we don't really need to see that. You know, again, I mean, did this live-action series need to really happen? No, but probably Oda has it um, approved for the sake of having more audiences hopefully coming in into his uh his material or his uh, creation so i think uh that's really the main purpose of that we've seen it time and time again with cowboy bebop we've seen it with even as far as dragon ball evolution um uh, the full metal alchemist uh, series death knell you name it and of course with cartoons right we've seen stuff like that especially with uh, Last Airbender with M. Night Shyamalan's direction not panning out too well with most audiences. And so they, you know, uh, failed to kind of capture the magic of what these series are all about. And a huge part of that is that it's animated. It's um, very outworldly. And I think having that coming into here um, doesn't really translate all that well for the most part. Especially with like, you know, One Piece alone, Luffy's stretching already doesn't really look that great on screen, if I'm going to be honest here. I, I really don't think it's going to um, go all the way. I think it'll have a stopping point and it's just, it, it, the end screen is just going to be like, oh, check out the check out the the manga and anime or whatever. So, um, which is... I'm, I'm not going to be too surprised, but it'll be still be funny to see if that is uh, uh, a thing that happens in um, the live action series. So, um, but yeah, I think really uh, Oda thinks that way with, you know, just bringing more eyes in. And then I think really the main, pr uh, with that, the main purpose, purpose of um, the Netflix series is just to bring more attention, really. And it'll just stop at some point, you know. It's it's the intention is not to go all the way and, and be a live action retelling of all of what we've seen in One Piece. It's just a snippet, and I think that's really much it. We're gonna we're probably gonna see maybe at best Alabasta, maybe maybe for lucky a Skypea, but that's really much it. You know, hey, we'll we'll have to wait and see. 
and we'll have to see stuff like Chopper and stuff like that too. And and we haven't even seen Arlong either, man. That's going to be like, oh man, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, man. Um, especially like if they really dare to go that far, Fishman Island. Oh my goodness, the um, man, <laughs> the stuff that will come out of that live action arc will definitely be something. But yeah, I think uh, the main points I got um, haven't been said. And yeah, so if anyone has like stuff they, they you guys agree on or disagree on from this video, please let me down in the uh, comment section below. I am all for a friendly discussion. I'm all ears for that. I definitely understand that, you know, people di think differently, blah, blah, blah. People have different pers perspectives. So yeah, um, I, I can definitely understand that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, all we can do is just cautiously anticipate for One Piece uh, Netflix, uh, Netflix series. And I'm going to give it a watch. I'm going to watch all eight episodes and give my review on it. You know, I'm definitely going to have a time with it talking about it here on the channel because I like One Piece that much, right? So it definitely is going to be a ride of sorts and I'm go going to be ready for it. So I got to prepare that mind that this is a live action series. Gotta, got you know, try to keep it open as much as possible, and even then, I mean, I, I kind of did the same thing for with Cowboy Bebop live action, and look at how th that, that turned out. I, but I can already see it being a problem with the pacing and the dialogue because Luffy is doing some things that he that the original Luffy would not do. I think, and I can now already say that much. But anyways, um, leave those comment section in the comment section below. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, uh, all that stuff. Subscri uh, subscribe to this channel if you want more. Really appreciate it, guys. And check out the links in the description below if you want to further uh, support, want to support the channel. Really appreciate it as well, including my Rogue Energy affiliation. Uh, really helps out as well. So this has been the Hawk Talks video on uh, what, why this uh, uh, One Piece live action series happened in the first place. Thanks to. Aichiro Oda-san and of course uh, hope he can uh, have a smooth recovery on his eye surgery so uh, yeah so thank you very much hope to see you all in the next video and hopefully this uh, strobing light thing wasn't too obnoxious let's see let's see if this is a, a regular feature for future videos Sean out